Welcome to art class with Mrs. Hopkins. Today, I'm gonna ask you to find something around your house, and I bet you can find it. How about one of these? Anybody have one of these toilet paper rolls lying around? I heard they're all the craze right now, but I think people actually want the thing that's on it. So, I found a friend on my Instagram who was having her art students turn these in to a cute little animal. So what I did is I took one of these and I folded just the top of one in a little bit. So I kind of smushed it here to make this shape here. Anybody have an idea of what kind of animal I could make this out of? Who said cat? Yeah, I could totally do a cat. Although, I think that we are going to do, we as in me, I'm gonna turn this into a cute little owl, okay? Yeah, I thought a cute little owl would be the perfect little toilet paper tube animal. I can already see his face popping up right here. So, we're gonna do that together. I'm going to turn this one into an owl, and then I'm gonna turn this one into an owl because every owl needs a friend. So boys and girls, let's get started. We're going to be making some owls from toilet paper tubes. But if you don't have any of those around, maybe you have one of these. Ah yes, this is a paper towel tube. It's the same material, which is cardboard. So that's our objective today. It says, I can sculpt an animal using a cardboard tube. And we talked about it where if you took the tube and you folded the top in a little bit, kind of like this, so it looks pointy, when you turn it to the side, it's gonna have kind of these little ears. And you could make a really tall owl, or you can make a really tall cat. I mean, think about it. You know what this shape also reminds me of? Is a totem pole. So maybe we'll do a cool lesson with totem poles. But instead today, we're gonna go ahead and make these cute little owls. I mean, look at this guy, he's just adorable. So he needs a friend, and that's why I've got this one right here. And like you saw before, how to do this is you're just going to take the top and you're gonna fold it in on both sides. See where my fingers went? And I like to pinch it so that you get two little points here for an ear. So fold it in. And you don't really have to secure it with anything. Um, I don't think tape would even hold it. I think just leaving it like that will be fine. Uh, I guess you could, if you wanted to be really, really sure it would stay, you could use some glue, but you'd have to pinch it and hold it for a long time until it dried. But I'm not gonna worry about that because I've got my shape right there and I don't think it's gonna move. The next thing you're gonna want is some crayons or a pencil um, or a marker like me. I like to use a Sharpie marker to draw my details of my animals. So for owls, you have to think about the body parts that you want your owl to have. And I like to start with the eyes. And owls, they're nocturnal, so they need really big eyes to help them see at night. So I'm gonna draw two really big eyes there. And then I wanna put the beak right in the middle underneath. So those are simple shapes, circles and triangle. And you can decide how big you want his little pupils to be if you want him to be like a totally terrified owl. Keep it like that. Oh, he's totally terrified. Um, but I think he's happy because he's got a friend. So I'm going to enlarge those and make them really cute. You could move them around in the eye. You can make him look like he's looking at the friend if you want him to be glancing to the side. We don't have to do the mouth because that is the beak, kind of just the nose and the mouth. And then for me, I'm gonna do a different line for feathers. I'm gonna make them go the opposite way. But we wanna show texture. I'm gonna put a wing over here. That's my wing shape. And a wing over here. And if you wanna have some feather lines on your wings, you can add some different lines for texture there. So this owl has some details that my new owl doesn't. 
I like to give the owl some crazy eyebrows. I just think it makes them look super fancy. And if you want, you can give them eyelashes, upper and lower lashes. I think it looks really cute when you do that. And I just make them fluffy. But if you don't like that, you can leave that out. The next thing I do is I would add color. If you don't have crayons, you could just leave them just like this. And he's cute anyway. But I think that this one I'm going to do with some different blue and green. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Whew, that just took forever. <laughs> but now my owl has a little friend and they look super cute. So if you found this project fun and you were able to complete it, then you mastered your objective. And remember, that was I can sculpt an animal using a cardboard tube. It might be a short tube like this, it might be a really big tube like this, but any tube would work. Um, all you have to do is fold in those tops to make cute little animal ears. So whether you decided to make an owl like me or maybe you decided to make a cat, I can't wait to see what you guys were able to create. Have fun.